YouTube. It's your boy Fish and Ken, Hook City TV. You know who I got with me. Hook City. My main man, Hook City, and it's about to go down. Hey guys, we got a little cold front blowing through, so we're going to go see what these crappie want to do. You ready for it? I'm ready for it. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's your boy Fish and Ken, Hook City TV. Stick along for the ride. Good fish is the first fish. First fish is a good fish. Yeah, it's good fish. One fish, two fish. Uh, White fish, blue fish. Guys, that's the first fish, man. I just want you to know he was caught on the ACC crappie sticks, 12 foot, super grip. Y'all see it. Dial were real. We're using braided line. First fish is looking like a nice little 12, 12 inch eater. Just going through a few of these trees here, man. We're probably gonna fish a little bit of open water today. I'm excited about today. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Got our first fish in. And now we got dad to the right. We got dad on the fish out here in the open water. Dad's first fish might be a keeper. He Taking a while be. to wake him up, man. Yeah, he has to shake it a while on him. Shaking a while. What you got on there, man? White and short truth. Brush pile jigs. Brush pile. Yeah. Okay, you're using the uh, ACC Crabby Sticks head. Now, you grabbed the 12 footer. But you grabbed the one I was using in Alabama a few weeks ago, man, because that's got that that's got that four pound test light line on it. So you you did you did something a little different today. Yeah. Guys, we are keeping fish today, man. I uh I got a buddy that's that's uh, looking good. for some fish. We need him to be ten inches in Texas. He's looking at about ten and a half almost. Yeah. So listen. He ten and a half, what happened to him? Get cut in half. He get cut in half. See you later, alligator. Came through a cut. And now we're just looking in some uh, timber. We're right now in about 12 foot of water. Um, and then we're just we're just gonna see what the lake gives us, what the lake shows us. If it shows us what we need to see, we stay in this area. If it doesn't show us what we need to see, we know we're dealing with a cold front. These fish might have pushed out a little bit deeper. They might have pushed into the channel where that warmer water is. Um, they might be around bait. We really don't know yet. We're gonna get it figured out. Um, so y'all stay tuned, man. Dad is actually looking at another fish right now, another good fish, another good fish. I'll turn him around, but he's coming at the boat. See if we can stop him from coming at the boat. So y'all stay tuned, man. We're gonna keep catching fish and get this thing figured out. Yeah. All right, guys, this is a fish Dad saw while I was doing that little old talk. Let's see if he gonna bite. Oh, he nipped at it. Put your rod down, Dad. Put your rod down. He went down to the bottom. But he, 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 he coming back. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't left. Come on now, you got to hold me still. Light him up good. He moving a little bit now. Not really, the boat is moving toward him. There he is again. That time he hung on, see what we got y'all. Let's see what we got. Got a decent good fish. Keeper. Good keeper fish. Got us another good fish, y'all. And Dad is already spotting the third one. Listen, that's two more sitting there. Yeah. But look, caught him right in the top lip. That fish wasn't going nowhere. Got a good boat flip on him. That is fish number three that fast. Let's go, baby. Like that, man. I just put mine in the box. Bioscope ain't showing the best, but we can see it if you look right there. At 12 foot, that fish is coming in. Dad's gonna put out there at 12 foot, go to the right. Right. <clears throat> Should be coming up. There. You on the bottom, Dad. Come up way up. Come on. Shake him out of there. Wake him up, shake him up. 
He dropped him. To the right. You gotta follow him now. Easy. He started coming toward the boat. Pick it up and make another good drop. To the right. No. To the right. That's good. He running. Pick it up Man, again. I can't Pick it up again. Dad, you don't need but that much line. We're only in 12 foot of water, so don't don't drop past it. Push. Keep it pushed out there. To the right a little bit. Stay to the right. Stay to the right. A little more right. Gotta take your time. Oh yeah, good fish. Just like that, fish number four. So we, one thing we can say, one thing we can put together right now is that there are a few fish. Yeah, it's gonna break that. That's that four pound four test, pound. man. <clears throat> That's that four pound test when we were catching those black crappie in that clear water. Let's mm. see what you got, Dad. Nice fish, man. Box fish. Yes, sir. Well, listen. So we're in the trees but the fish are not sitting on the trees right now that might happen later on in the day as the sun gets a little bit higher um it's not noon just yet we got here late we're gonna keep working at it man again we're putting this stuff together y'all so listen this is this is a tip for you when you get out there on the lake i want you to start putting stuff together hey what depth did you catch that catch those fish in especially when you don't have live scope what depth was he in? Was he on a brush pile? Was he on a tree? Are there other brush piles at the same depth of this one that these fish are on? Are there other trees that look like these kind of trees? Are they boat arcs? Um, what kind of trees are they? What kind of trees are these fish favoring? That's the kind of stuff, that's the information that you want to gather as you start your day. And that's what we're gathering right now. Um, but listen, open water has been it. And I know, and y'all know from watching my videos, man, that that open water, when the water gets cold, is the lick. So that's actually what I'm out here to see about, but I do not mind dropping on these trees, bringing some crappie to their knees. Let's keep going. Take him a little while to see it. No giant, but he'll, look, we meat running. Yeah, he look pretty good. <clears throat> hey, we ain't trophy fishing. No, we grocery fish. Just another 10 inch crappie, guys. Listen, and then if they're gonna be in abundance, I'm not fishing a ton. I know what they did, that I'm calibrated early this morning. Yeah, y'all see it. All right, guys, it's kind of a glare on the screen, but 22 foot away is what we're gonna take dad to real quick. Try to get this boat settled in. The wind is, is starting to blow. And being that we're in this deep V, it's gonna, it's gonna push us around, but we're gonna try to stay as settled as possible. Let dad make a good drop, see if we can't put a hook in this fish. Approaching 14 foot. Anybody wondering we're using a Garmin 126 SV. Not that far, to the right, just to the right. There you go. All right, pick it up. Be a little further out. You see. He got him too. Call fish. Good fish. Come on with him. Come on with him. Come on with him. That's him. Huh? That's him. That's who? That's him. It's a he -haw. Yes, sir. That's him. That that's looked like him. him. That's a donkey. Yes, sir. That's a good fish, man. Yeah, Brush yeah. pile jigs for you. 116. I think, no, you're using the 1 8 ounce head Eight. from ACC Crappie Sticks. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. Getting you everything you need. That's another one for the box, y'all. That's what I like to see when yeah, they do that. Yeah, that's what I like too, daddy. <laughs> that's what I like too, daddy. He ain't playing. Yeah, that that one I ain't ain't no measure. No. That's a that's a no measure, y'all. Yeah, put the knife. That, that's knife. No measure. Y'all see it, man. Shout out to Scott Bradshaw, man, making these quarter ounce. They coming in. It ain't gonna take them long. Yeah. They're on their way. Let yourself get close to them first. Then. Yeah, I am. I ain't gonna do nothing. And get around 10, I'll stick it out there. I'm gonna do nothing. 
to the end. Hopefully we can get both of them. But it's one out of time. One at a time. One at a time. One one at end up like school children down there, y'all. <laughs> we'll go a big one back there. Ooh, man. We're going we're gonna to take our time. We, I, I will swing it now, today. Two keepers. Two keepers, Dan Fowler. You might be a little bit too far to the bell. I mean to the right. You're a little too far to the right. There you go. There you go. Now you now you cooking with oil. Push. Bam. That's all right. Get that over. That's all right. That's all right. Come on. Uh -oh. Man, man, man. Ooh, look at them, y'all. So we were in the trees, man, but it ain't no point being in the trees if we got sitting ducks. Down to the right. Push. Not too far. Come back a little bit. Come back. There you go. To the right. Twist. Crazy. Pick it up. Mm, it duck up. Off. That one ain't. See him at 14. Yeah, I see him now. Pick it up, pitch it again. Pick it up, pitch it again. Dad, you're going too far right. I just want you to be right beside where we think it is. Yeah. Elbow, just a little bit. Push just a hair. Push. Elbow. That's your butt. There you go. There they go. Pull them up so they can see them, though. Okay. Some of them don't react. Some of them do. There you go. There you go. Got it. Hey, ha. Another good fish. Another That's good it. fish. They split up. They fin too. That's how they supposed to do it. They ain't that bad over here. We supposed to do something and grab it. Yeah, they finna split up. Breaking up happy home. One hook set at a time. So ain't nobody gonna remind me to do the outro, huh? Y'all just gonna sit there and keep watching. Ain't nobody gonna tap on their screen and say, hey, Ken, do an outro. My bad, y'all. Listen, we went out and did exactly what we were looking to do. I'm out here, man. We're going to have a whole nother video coming real shortly, real soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. But I want to give you guys an outro, man, and let y'all know that we executed the plan exactly like I said we were going to do. We were going to get out there and we were going to figure out what those crappie wanted to do. We started in 12 foot of water. We fished anywhere from 8 to 16 foot of water. And we found fish everywhere, y'all. Absolutely everywhere. And I think that's due to this cold front moving in. A lot of these fish are on structure, but a whole lot more of those fish are suspended. And that was the program, man.